Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a landscape design or to create a visual layout for a customer to give along with a proposal. The first thing you're going to want to do is to create a new project. You can give the project a name. If you have a bid date, you can assign it then. And then you can put any notes that you want to include in this section. Now that the project's created, I'm going to give a title to this section. And then I'm going to upload the file to do my design or layout on. You can do two different things here. You can capture an aerial, which is a Google image of the property, and you can lay out your shrubs and trees that way. Or if you have a site survey or some other plan, base plan, you can upload it. I'm going to upload a site survey. So I'll click Choose Files. And I'm going to upload the file here. Now it'll take a few seconds to upload. And when it's finished, you can begin doing your design. I'm going to wait to add materials until I see my plan so that I can choose what I want to put there. So when it's done, simply click Markup Plans. Now that plan file has been uploaded here. And you can see you have the base layout of the property. This is just a home, a simple residential home. To make sure that I'm drawing in the same scale that the, that the base plan is drawn in, I'm gonna go ahead and calibrate my scale. So I'm gonna click set scale, click measure. I'm gonna click on one end of the line, and then I'm gonna click on the other end of the line. And this is 120 feet, so I'm going to tell the software that that's 120 feet. Now I'm calibrated and ready to start doing drawing. As a side note, you can also start with a blank page and do a complete design from scratch using our linear and aerial tools to draw the house footprint and the property lines. In order to do the scale that way, you probably would just want to enter a scale to which you might normally do or what might fit well on that sheet of paper. If it's an 8 by 10 or 11 by 17 or bigger that you've uploaded into it. Okay, since I've been in this property, I know that this is the front of the house. So I'm just going to show you just a quick little layout of the front of the house and how you might do that. So um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some plants that I might use. So on the corners, I'll probably use a maybe a Mary Nell Holly. Do a 15 gallon plan, maybe a medium, and then I'll choose the color. Let's do green. We can do some foundation plants, maybe just to keep it simple, we'll just do a, some, some boxwoods. I do those small. These are all objects because I'm laying out shrubs, so my annotation type will be an object here. a little bit of color. How about a drift rose? A three gallon. I'm going to keep it small and then I'm just going to choose this pink color here. Maybe let's do a ground cover like uh, some Liriope. Alright, now for the Liriope, I'm going to want to do an object group because it's going to be a ground cover. So, uh, this is going to be an area drawn out and I can tell the spacing that I want and then the software is going to calculate how many plants I need. So, I'm going to go ahead and do these at 24 inch centers. And then last, just so I can show you, let's do a little bit of sod. Um, I'm going to do some emerald zoysia sod. Now this is sod, so the unit of measurement I want is area. I want to do square feet. And we're just going to do a nice green color. Alright, now I've created a few working materials that I can work with. So I'm going to begin laying them out. Alright, so let's do a, a corner planing here. We can do a Mary Nell. So I can, uh, let's just put one here on the corner. 
do another one here on this corner. All right. Now let's do some boxwoods. Now here's an important, helpful tool to remember this to show distance guides as we're laying out these shrubs. So when I check this box, and I can quickly lay out these shrubs on the centers that I want to be. So I can quickly put them on three foot centers around the home. Give some color with the drift rose. I'm going to put these around the outside here. All right. All of these can be moved if you didn't get quite get them where you want it to be. You just hover over, click it, and then hold down the click and you can move them to how you want them if you need to line them up a little bit better. Alright, let's do uh, some, uh, let's do a, a front walkway. This will be an area measurement also, square feet. So now I have it in here. Click on paper walkway. I'm just gonna just do a nice walkway, straight walk to the front sidewalk. Now to resize this, I'll click close. Then I can hover over and simply click and drag that to where I want to. If I needed to make some curves or add some additional points, I can hover over and click. And then I have a new point that I can drag. And so you can add a bunch of these to create curves if you need to. I don't need that, so I'm just going to undo back to the straight sidewalk. Alright, now that I have my sidewalk in, let's add a little bit of ground cover. Let's add this little variety just to do a little bit of a border. Now, that's simple, and your design sure really will probably be much more complex than this, but it's just a simple layout for you. Let's add some sod around the front so we can give the customer an idea of where we're going to be sodding their yard. Creating points, I'm simply clicking, dropping a point to approximate the curve, and then if I want to pan, I hold down my mouse click and I can move the base plane underneath. When I'm done, I'll simply double click. And like I said, this can all be resized so you can fine tune those curves a little bit. Click on it and it shows you all the points that you have. And then you can add some more and move these around to create a nice smooth curve. just finish this side here I'm gonna zoom out with my mouse wheel click across the property lines then I'll we'll double click when I'm done and just like before if I want to fine-tune it I'll close out the drawing tool click on my shape I can move these vertices around to get a nice smooth curve and fine tune the bed lines to where I want them. Alright, so now we have a simple layout. You can also add a little bit of mulch if you want to to show where the mulch is going to go. We'll do mulch, it's a volume, annotation, 
we'll just do three inches deep. I'm going to do this lighter brown color here and uh, I'll click save. Now the mulch is added in. I'm going to choose it. And I'm just simply going to draw around the outside of my bed lines, clicking, dropping points, double clicking to finish. Double clicking to finish. And so now you can see through adding all these we've got a nice material list here of what it's going to take to do the job. We've got our cubic yards of mulch, our square foot of pavers, square footage of sod, and our plant counts. Now since this is a base plan, or since a, it's a design that I'm going to potentially give a customer, I want to label these things to show them. So you can do that using our text tool. Click the T for text. You can begin labeling it. I'm going to label my side. And I can drag it and point to what I need. Let's label our drift roses. Now, our text tool, you can't edit the text. So if you mess up, all you have to do is delete that text and start a new one. So I'm going to label the quantity here of shrubs that are here. move these labels to where I like them so I can line them up. Let's label our, la our last two plants here, Mary No Holly. And we're going to label our big blue Aripe. Let's put it down here. Now if I need to see how many how much is here, let's do that. Let's just check. I can click on this and I can see that this is 12 Lorapi. So actually my label I'm gonna do There you go, and you can label this side as well, just like we did this uh, with your quantities, or if you wanted to, you could just put your quantities all on this side. If you label one side, they know that this color means this shrub. Okay. All right, now that you're done with your design, let's go ahead and download the plan. Before we do that, I'm gonna go back over here to my project view. Here you'll see that I have these two columns with the place and the estimate. Just to make my material take takeoff download easier, I'm going to go ahead and reconcile these quantities by hitting the arrow. And I'll show you why I do that here in just a minute. Now that I've done that, I can click my download button, which is this folder in the top right with the down arrow. Okay, I have two options. I can download my material takeoff, which is simply the list of your material. So you have this. This report can be customized to show whatever columns you want to show. And then these columns can be copied and pasted into an Excel spreadsheet if you want to do your estimating for the project that way. Now go to the other tab. The other option is to download my annotated plan. So I'll click download. And it's going to allow me to open up a PDF of the design we just did. So you can see here we have a nice little design layout for the customer. Now if some things don't quite look right from the way that you designed them, you can do some editing. I have uh, the Adobe Pro DC, so if I click 
over here the edit PDF it allow me to move some things around to do a little bit of editing to make things look right so I can take this emerald zoysia and put it back up here on the same row as that can make this box a little bigger just gonna bring the four and the seven up same with this and I can put my 12 beside the variety Another thing you can also do with this is delete these labels if you don't want to show the customer those labels. So I'm going to find my label, click it, and just delete it. Alright, now I can click close. So now you have a nice little simple visual color drawing that you can give a customer as a part of your proposal or you can give this to your crew for laying out this is really helpful when coupled with our Google aerial tool that allows us you get an arrow of a property you can make some notes about it lay out some shrubs whatever the particulars of that project are give it to your guys in the morning and they've got a real simple drawing to reference in case you're not available or just to be more efficient or they don't have to be calling you all day thanks for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to email or give us a call Thank you.